What's up, YouTube? It's Bacon Vape. Just wanted to bring you guys an updated, shorter, and correct version of how to wire the do-it-yourself rosin press. This is the PID controller that controls the heaters. Uh, this is green, I think it's green jeans. Uh, it's the do-it-yourself on YouTube. I'll link it in the description. Um, but with that said, in his awesome tutorial, this is the one part that he skips. So I'll give you guys a quick walkthrough. Um, basically, the L and the N down here is for live and neutral, and we're going to act as if these are the cords coming in from the wall. So, if you see this side right here with the thermal couple, which is the silver line, this is the line that's coming from the wall. This is the line down there that has the plug on it still. So, that's my live and my neutral coming in. The black and the white, okay? And I'm using uh, the black as the neutral in this case. Or I'm sorry, the black is my live in this case. So it'll come in and it'll go to a three piece Wago, which will break off and go to number 10 on the PID. And then it'll go to this bottom portion on the relay, caddy corner of the negative terminal. So if I come over here, I find my black cable coming in. It goes to a three-piece Wago. It goes to this end, caddy corner, the negative end on the relay. And then the other one goes over here to number 10 on the PID. Okay? So that's the live. So now the neutral, which will be my white cable, I'll show you that one coming in. And it's gonna go to a three-piece Wago. And then go over to number nine on the PID and then over to the heaters. So if I come over here, find my white cable coming in, goes to a three-piece Wago. That three-piece Wago breaks off and comes over here to number nine on the PID, this red one here, as well as going back out to this other white one in the middle, which goes to my heaters. So this one white one comes in, three piece Wago, nine on the PID, and the white one in the middle is the one that goes back to the other heaters out this side right here, okay? So this one is the white one that went out to those other heaters. So then you'll have your two heaters daisy chained together on the back of your plates, right? And then those will connect to, <clears throat> let me pull those up right here so this is that white one that's coming out that connected to this way go over here so it's going to go to your two heaters now daisy chain together and then the other end of the heaters is going to come back on this end right here the black end right and that's this right here okay this black one so this black one coming back in from this is the heater side now right this is that cable right there. Sorry, you're a little tangled. So this is that one now. This is that black cable, okay? Again, that black cable now from the heaters is right here. And that's just gonna go straight over to the relay directly below the negative terminal. So you can see this three, or the two-piece Wago, right? The black one comes in, goes to a two-piece Wago, and then follows it over to the terminal beneath the negative. And that's that, okay? And then you just have the regular number three on the relay, which is right here, the positive end, goes to number eight on the PID. And then you have the negative end of the relay, which goes over to number six on the PID. And then you just have the thermal couples, which is right there. Okay, and that's three and four. Three on top, four right here. And then the two ground wires, which is the two greens coming from each of these. Those just go into a double Wago together. And that's it. That is the entire uh, wiring diagram. 
you guys have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email. I'll post that down in the description. And then uh, just to show you guys, while I have it all connected here, that it works. And that is actually the correct wiring. Take you over here. And plug it in. And bam. That's it. It's that simple. Now it just needs to be uh, configured and the thermocouple installed into the plates as well as the heaters on the, the heater end. And then we'll have some heaters going. This is the same exact circuit that you guys will use to create your own email if you want. And instead of using cartridge heaters, you use coil heaters. And 16 millimeters, the coil size that you'll use for your standard quartz banger. This little pro tip there. So, that's it. Rosin press is all wired up, working. Heaters will be here Tuesday. And it's time to get pressing. Alright, peace out.